Hello and welcome to more awesome uh, collection, uh, pop culture edition. We're going to look at a uh, special issue of the new Teen Titans. If you like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and reply and like. Uh, this is uh, the first Deathstroke. This cover date, December 1980. And if we look at this here, a cool cover. You're too late to save your fellow Titans, Raven. I've just killed them all. Wrong, you didn't kill them. I did. But look at this one. Look at the price. It's a 15p. All new. So that must be pence, and this must be English. Because it's not a Canadian price variant. Uh, those Canadian price variants go for a lot of money, So, but I don't know if this does. But when you look inside here... Nothing about it says it's anything different. There's the indication, 1980, printed in USA. Subscription, everything's USA. So I don't know why that's on there. I never had a, a comic before. And all of my Marvel collection, I don't have anything that has that on there. So, it's a little bit confused. I believe at this time, the regular, fifth, it was 50 cents for a comic, because I have the other Teen Titans at this time. This is the only one I got that's like this one. This one's in fairly good shape, except you can see that corner has some kind of a bit of a crease or a crunch in it. I don't know what this one would qualify for and if it got pressed. Uh, but when people send a regular one in, this one's quite pricey if you get a high-grade CGC. Uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, Marv Wolfman and George Perez, they had worked for Marvel, and here they are at DC. George Perez, known for his... Uh, Avengers when he was doing Marvel work. Take a look at it here. Yeah, so this is 2021, so this guy's uh, 41 years old. Uh, they're still doing Saturday morning cartoons. I did those for decades. Big things starting in the 60s. Oh, they're still selling sea monkeys. <laughs> uh, those are brine shrimp. There's Robin. So they made uh, a lot of Titans. Uh, animated series and what they might be coming in with the future I see they did just like in <coughs> comics famously remember Thanos and the the, the copter they did uh, Hostess had uh, both companies doing the uh, ads specifically full page comic book ads for their uh, snack cakes It'd be neat if someone would collect them all <clears throat> and print them out, make a book about all the hostess ones, because when I go through all the Marvel ones, they're always there. I just saw one with the Hulk, and I think it had uh, Windigo and uh, Abomination in it. Got the artwork. Of course, we had uh, Cyborg on the big screen. Oh, look who's there. So, <clears throat> this issue is quite collectible. You can get these raw for fairly good price. See that bend kind of goes all the way through through the entire issue. Uh, 
Wish I could uh, figure out <coughs> how to do my own pressing because there's so many to do and it's so expensive and time consuming to send it in and have them do it. it doubles the price and doubles the time. Wait, 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 waiting to get uh, anything back. Uh, look at this here. You see, these stories were a little longer. Because for a while, they're... Uh, <coughs> Marvel stories were... Uh, you know, they count to 32 on total page count, but the stories had gone down from the standard 20 in the 60s to like 18 or even 17. Uh, the Fearsome Five. Second chances. All right, so that's a look at this issue and with a little bit of a difference on it. Hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, more awesome collection to come. Thank you.